today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to limit bandwidth on Microtech router ports. Let's get started. So first let me show you the configuration on Microtech. There is only the SAP client configured just to get an IP address. You can see uh, I did not configure anything else. You can consider this one as a brand new Microtech router. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to a Microtech router and power this machine off just to add another interface. So I'm gonna click on edit version machine and I will add a network adopter and it's gonna ask me bridged um, if you guys wanna know about this configuration you can comment me and I will create another video for this one because it's another topic so currently I'm gonna just select a custom and I would select uh, excluding the NAT and post on this so I'm gonna uh, select VMNet 2 so finish and then I'm gonna click on Windows 10 box and click on settings and I have to match these both uh, VMNet to get the IP address from the Microsoft browser going to power on this virtual machine so first let's check if the interface is added yeah so it's called ether2 and for ether1 i will come out it's a van interface okay so let's assign the ip address to the new interface ether2 and i'm gonna set that 172.16.200.1 and then I'm gonna go to IP DSCP servers and set up a new DSCP server for ETF2 yes. and this is going to be the address the JP address correct and the addresses to get up that is correct and the DNS server I'm gonna select this one as the Google DNS and this time let's go back to the windows machine and see if it's getting the IP address alright so after restarting the network adapter I was able to get the IP address of 172.16200.254 okay now let's go back to Microtech and assign a rule in firewall so we can access the internet 200.0 zero slash 24 um, i'm gonna assign this to a whole network and i'm gonna do the masquerade apply and okay Try something on the web browser let's say google.com there you go you're able to access the internet okay so let's check the speed test right now Currently, I have not set any kind of limit, so let's see how much it shows. I'm currently using the T-Mobile Gateway, so sometimes speed is like really good and sometimes it's really bad. But currently, it's giving me over 100 uh, Mbps for the download, and let's see for the upload. But I'm sure it's not going to be more than 10 Mbps, or even less. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's uh, go to the Microtech router and set up the um, bandwidth limit. So there are several methods to set a bandwidth limit, uh, but currently I'm gonna show you with the IP address. So first I'm gonna go to the HCP server and see the lease, and I'm gonna uh, make this one static. So every time this computer logs in with this MAC address, the same IP address is going to be assigned to this uh, MAC address. So I'm going to copy this address 172.16200.254 and then I'm going to go to the queues and I'll create a new queue and set the IP address, whatever I copied. So it was uh, 172.16.200.254. 
and here you can see the targeted upload and download speed so you can set whatever you want uh, already there are like few templates you want to set let's say uh, 2 MB on upload and 2 MB on download and I'm gonna go back and do the same thing speed test okay so now you can see it's not going above 2 MBs our test went perfectly fine if you want to know more about limiting uh, the bandwidth on Microtech, you can just comment on my video and I, I will make more and more videos so that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video make sure you like the video and hit subscribe button I'll see you in the next video bye